Hello and welcome to our Feed Me Fair Trade series. In each video I'll be making one of my favourite fair trade recipes to give you some inspiration on how you can start to fill your cupboards and feed yourself some more fair trade goods. I'm Sally and I'm going to make honey cake today using this beautiful fair trade organic honey. Now I've been inspired to make this honey cake after reading a lot about an organisation that Shared Interest works with called Educe, and they are a Mexican honey cooperative. Now Educe honey is not exported to the UK currently, so the honey I am using does come from Mexican, uh, Mexican fair trade producers, um, but I don't believe contains honey from Educe, but they are very much behind the inspiration of this cake today. So I have started by weighing out all of my ingredients um, for this beautiful honey cake. I've been assisted in this by my trusty sous chef, Super Avo, who you can see um, guiding me in this, uh, in this bake today. So what do we have here? Let me just talk you through. So we have 125 grams of butter. Now I love baking, but I'm notorious for forgetting to remove the butter from the fridge if I'm uh, making a cake that needs softened butter. However, I am delighted to say that this recipe involves melting the butter, so it does not matter that I forgot to take it from the fridge too earlier. So we've got 125 grams of butter, or you could use margarine. We've then got 125 grams of fair trade soft brown sugar. I never bothered to sieve soft brown sugar because I find it just gets stuck. So given that we're also melting this with the butter, it doesn't really matter too much that it's looking a bit clumpy there. I've then got 250 grams of our star ingredient, that beautiful fair trade honey. Then moving on, we've got 190 grams of plain flour. I have sieved that. Um, I do find that quite easy to sieve through. Um, one teaspoon of bicarb of soda. Then 125 grams of dried mixed fruit. Now I sourced this from my local refill shop where I was able to choose which fruit I put into my mixture. So I've got here some golden sultanas, um, which I thought might go very well with the honey, some regular sultanas and some raisins. Then I've got one egg that I've beaten and 50 grams of walnuts that are roughly broken, roughly chopped up. So that's our ingredients list for our honey cake. So I'm going to start off by popping um, the ingredients I'm going to melt into a saucepan to melt these um, on the hob. So I've got my butter. I'm now just going to add in my brown sugar. And then also in goes my beautiful fair trade honey. The smell is incredible, absolutely beautiful. So just to tell you a little bit more about Educe, they are a honey cooperative who were established in 1997 and they're working with almost a thousand beekeepers in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. This area is known for its production of high quality honey, particularly from the Melipona bee, which is native to the region. These bees are stingless and are known for their unique honey, which is prized for its medicinal properties and its distinct flavour. So I'm just going to um, scrape out the leftover honey, make sure I get every last drop out of that dish into my pan, and then I'm going to pop that on the hob and melt it ready for the next step. So here I now have my beautifully melted honey, butter and sugar and I've just left it to cool just slightly before adding the next lot of ingredients. So next in goes our plain flour. So let me just put that in. So that was 190 grams of plain flour. Then we've got our teaspoon of bicarb of soda. So we'll just put that in. And then also our dried fruit is going in at this stage too. So little bits out of there and there we go and so I'm now just going to give it a good stir big mix up um, to combine all of those ingredients together so now that that's all nicely mixed together I'm going to add in my beaten egg and then give it another good stir again 
So everything is now nicely combined from my mixing bowl and I'm now just going to pour this into my prepared tin. So I've just lined a 20 centimeter baking tin, um, a shallow-ish square tin. Um, so I'm now just going to pour the cake batter into that tin and then we'll pop it in the oven. And the last thing I'm going to do before we pop it in the oven is just sprinkle over the chopped walnuts. Um, so these go on before it goes in the oven, so they'll sit nicely into the batter um, as it bakes. So let's just sprinkle those over randomly. And there we go. Now it's ready for 50 minutes in the oven at 180 degrees. And so we'll see you on the other side. So the honey cake's out the oven. It's cooled for a little while in the tin. I did cover it with tin foil for about the last 10 minutes in the oven just to stop it going too much darker on the top there. But here it is and I can't wait to tuck in with my nice cup of fair trade tea there. So this has been Feed Me Fair Trade. I've been your chef, Sally, and thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and visit the Shared Interest website to discover more great ways you can support the fair trade movement. Until next time.